It's not easy, but the key is don't be on an island. The number one thing I hear from most yoga teachers is I'm on my own. I just yeah. feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. Um, yeah. That also comes back to getting things done. Don't try and, my advice is don't try and do everything yourself. And that's from somebody who did it. In the beginning, I did everything in the business. It just mm-hmm. nuts. Like working 18, 19 hour days nonstop. And only a fraction of that was in the classroom. You know, it was, yeah. it was taught myself how to build websites that looking back in hindsight were awful. If you went on that way back machine and look at the first yoga <laughs> shop, yoga website, it's cringing. It's like really bad. Now, I was just lucky that in that day and age, like there was no other, there was like one other studio in Edinburgh or something. So it kind of worked, but it's different now. There's so many teachers, there's so many studios. So again, don't be afraid to band together with other yoga teachers. I know in Edinburgh, they used to have a, something called the Edinburgh Yoga Community. And it was just half a dozen yoga teachers who, instead of trying to do it all on their own, just came together, shared, shared the income, shared the profits, shared all the work. So yeah. As I say, um, think along those lines, or if you've not got too much money, look at places like Fiverr and, and get people to do some cool advertising for you. Think of ways to make things stand out. In this day and age, um, as I say, what worked 30 years ago won't work now. You have to stand out. The whole point of advertising is there's two or three steps. The first is just to stop people in their tracks and go, people are so busy, there's so much stuff being thrown at them. It's like, you have to have something that stands out so they go, oh, that's different, what's that? And then mm-hmm. they stop. Now they look, and then obviously you have to engage them at that point to go, mm, okay, that sounds all right. That sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. A month worth the free classes. Take the challenge, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and, and if you haven't got that knowledge and expertise, I wouldn't expect you to do that. But as, as I say, in this day and age, there's just some amazingly talented people charging crazy, crazy low amounts on things like Fiverr just to get exposure to let people see them. So start looking at stuff like that and reach out to the team. Um, Kirsty, Amy, they have information and knowledge and a lot of that stuff that they can point you towards resources and things like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it is definitely the feeling a little bit alone. Um, that because I don't know. Um, I, 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 I only moved back here two years ago. Um, um, from living here when you know I grew up here, so I don't even know the. I, I didn't even attend yoga classes here or anything before starting teaching here. So I definitely do feel quite um overwhelmed and just unsure of how to go forward. So even just hearing, yeah, well, just, yeah, just. There's your, there's your story. So I tell you, I, a few years back, went into business with my brother, who's a mechanic, and he bought a garage. And we grew up in a place called Kostorfa, which is on the outskirts of Edinburgh. Literally went to school there. And he's opened his garage there. Um, and... That was our initial advertising. Hey, do you remember Bruce and Graham Mackay from Craigmont High School? And you think, no way. And weirdly, the garage was very close to the school we went to. And it's incredible how many people yeah. never left Christopher that we went to school with. And I kid you not, <clears throat> first month, the number of people, even out of curiosity, who wanted to come and go, I remember, um, I remember Graham Mackay, or I remember Bruce Mackay. And incredibly, so if you grew up there, I mean, that was your massive story there. Hey, you know, I grew up, I left, I come back. I always I always knew I'd come back and I've learned this amazing thing called yoga while I was away. It really changed my life. It helped my life. I want to help the local community I grew up in. And, you know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm running a 30-day challenge. Come along for free. Try it. I'd love to meet people I grew up with I've not seen for years. Just come along, meet me, have a cup of tea after. So set it up, not as a one-hour yoga class, set up as a two-hour session where you you know, get some tea, some whatever, biscuits, organic muffins, whatever, get people together. And again, I know you're thinking, I really can't afford that's money in my pocket. But honestly, in terms of getting back in, it's, it's such a small cost for the potential results. And don't be afraid to tell people. Hey, I'm really struggling. I'm so passionate about this. I'll be honest, I'm not a marketing person. I'm, not just, I'm really struggling. Is there anyone you know who might benefit from the yoga? Is there any way you could, you know, if you feel that I'm doing something good, I'd, I'd be so grateful if you could go out there. People will do more to help other people than they will themselves. Like, yeah. don't be afraid to ask your community. But first, connect with your community, especially because you grew up there. Connect and then ask for help. Ask for help. Say, there's probably a, a web developer in the, the village. There's probably an SEO expert in the village. Yeah. Um, there's all sorts of ways you can do it. So get resourceful. People often say they don't have resources. I haven't got the money. I haven't got the knowledge. I, the, the most successful people get resourceful. Yeah, I haven't got that, but I could exchange free yoga classes with somebody who can do that. Or you know. yeah. So reconnect. Don't be on your own. It sounds like that's the big thing that's overwhelming you. Mm-hmm. Connect with the community. Connect with other 
wellness professionals. Yeah. That's the first thing. So you're not on your own there. And connect with us. I mean, honestly, if you reach out, yeah. you've got lots of resources. There's lots of things yeah. for free that we can help you with. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. That's really helpful. Thanks, Bruce. You're very welcome.